Hello everyone, I am Itsuyuki. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I'm not good at speaking English, but I want to help you. If you find this video useful, please subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends. Today, I would like to introduce to one of the braid weight technique options, study greatly. In my case, the main technique of braid weight is lift and drop. For other anglers, steady retrieve may be the main technique. Anglers who mainly fish lift and drop may be worth seeing this. When the water temperature reaches the lowest level, the lift and drop technique with the braid weight works well. This is because it imitates a dying shot with low water temperature due to extremely cold weather called shot kill weather. However, the shot, threatening shot, and gizzard shot do not live in Japan. Also, even in ultra low temperature and cold weather, Japanese bait fish such as smelt and ayu will not die. Perhaps for this reason, steady retrieve may be effective if the lift and drop technique does not work. On this day, I was fishing with the lift and drop technique as usual. But bass doesn't hit. When I started reading up the bait of the boat, the bass was a hit. いや。ドアがリトルマックス。リトルマックス <笑> I thought this might be today's pattern, so I was also focusing on reading up after lift and drop. It was also a hit with the lift and drop technique.
However, this was a relative of a cup called Nigoi in Japan. I'm sorry, but I'm happy. <laughs> After that, when I was pushing with the lift and drop technique, I got a hit with steady retrieve again. ドアもまたね。リトルマックス。リトルマックス4分の1で。またあのリフトアンドフォールから巻き始めで食ったので。もしかしたら今日はそういう日だったんかもしれません。巻き。わかんないですけど。<laughs> if the blade bait lift and drop technique doesn't work on your home rake, steady retrieve may help. So give it a try. Thank you for watching the video until the end. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Please subscribe today and wait for the next update.